Today I'm going to speak about God as our Heavenly Father. We have our earthly fathers and we have Heavenly Father. Yes, think about this. What does this mean to us? Having God as our Heavenly Father. If we are going to take the image of a father, our earthly father to us, when we were a child of them, or being a child, what does that mean? A father, like the Bible says, the head of the family. And we have a heavenly father who is the head of all things among human race. Now, I would like to read and share to you a passage in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. This is what it says. Behold, what manner of love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us, because he did not know us. There is a song made out of this verse. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us. And it continues. reminds us from this word that we are special. We are a son to a father who is the king of all kings, lords of all lords, the God of everything, our God, Father in heaven. Amen. Now I would like us to consider the blessings of having God as our father. That means to say that we have a close relationship. We are related to God our Father. And that when we are down, He is there comforting us as a Father. And when we are lost, He is willing as a Father to look for us. That when we are in any way out of control, He is there to drive the car for us. God is the source of every good and perfect gift from above. In James chapter 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of life, with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning. The elder James, half brother of our Lord Jesus Christ, wrote about who God is. Anything that we receive that are good, anything that we receive that are perfect, they are not coming from anything else, but they are coming from our Heavenly Father from above. That is a blessing. Matthew chapter 7 verse 11, if you then being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? He provides us comfort in all our afflictions. And this is the experience of Apostle Paul. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. And in verse 4, He comforting us in all our trouble, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in every trouble through the comfort which, which 
we ourselves are comforted by God.